favorite thing at Panties of the Week. My name is Ellen. This week we are taking a look at this Gibson Mandocello K2, and it is so old. How old is it? Oh, uh, oh, it's from 1920. It's older than my granddad. He's the oldest guy I know. It is both one of the more expensive things in the shop and one of the more difficult to play. The frets are so far apart. The main thing that you need to know about this instrument is that you just can't play it hard. It doesn't like it. It doesn't like it. You have to be nice to people and mando cellos. And if they tell you by their words or their actions that you're playing them too hard, then play them more gently. When you try to really dig in, actually that doesn't sound so bad. and it just doesn't sound quite as gorgeous as it does when you just kind of... It's just a lot more balanced and clean sounding when you just kind of... You're just gentle. me to allow you guys to feel the back of this vibrating against your boobs because there's just truly nothing like it. It's really a special thing, especially when it's had a refret and you can actually play it. I can't have a mandocello in my hand and not play that song. That's Can't Complain by Nickel Creek. Beautiful song on a beautiful record. If you don't put your hand back, it kind of gets a little rattly unless you put something back there. You could, you could, I mean, you can fix that any number of ways. You can put a sock back there. You can put some kind of, you just put a piece of tape on it. You just rest your hand back there. There's, there's loads and loads of solutions to that very minor problem. <laughs> Underestimate your finger strength like trying to play a fiddle tune on a hundred year old mandocello. There's just nothing like it. Wow, it even plays all the way up there. That's crazy. <laughs> you just put a capo right here and then it'd be a mandola. See, it just doesn't sound good when you do that to it. like put it on a lot of records. That's what this thing would be good for. This thing is a beautiful sounding and looking piece of American history and I love it. I give it four out of five Ellen's. Ellen, 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 Ellen. I deducted an Ellen because it also kind of hurt my fingers. Here at Fanny's House of Music, we also sell vintage clothing. This is a Ross Sutherland Hawaii shirt. Per usual, not wearing the right undergarments, maybe just don't have the right chest, and uh, it's way too big. This tag, oh my god, these tags are gonna be the death of me. It's nice and breathable though. A lot of structure. <laughs> I don't know, I like it, but I don't know that I would wear it. I have assessed myself in the bathroom mirror and I have decided that this is the type of shirt that you would wear if you were a random horn player in a really cool band, like Tank and the Bangas. I'm not in that kind of band. I'm not really a horn player. Thank you for watching Ellen's favorite thing at Fanny's of the Week. Tune in next week for me to have another favorite thing. <laughs>